Hey guys, it's Stomp Della, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a one-handed cut with a pack of playing cards. First off, you're going to want to grab a standard size pack of cards and not a bridge size playing card specifically because they're a lot. It, it's a lot easier to do with a bridge size deck of cards and you want to get used to, as soon as possible, a normal pack of playing cards. Now, I understand if you want to just start by using half the pack because that's how I started. I learned by using half of a pack of playing cards and then I gradually got up to a full deck. And so if you're more comfortable doing it that way, then that's fine with me. But I'm going to teach it with um, a full deck. So um, I'm just going to show you the move. Um, really, It's really simple. Basically you're dropping half a pack, sliding it, and then it goes over just like that. And that's a one-handed cut. Now, um, I'm going to go step by step because I really want you guys to learn well because it's really useful in cardistry, which I'm not really, a, I don't really do well in. Um, it's not really what I specialize in. But um, for those of you who are interested in cardistry or even just to show off, it's a show off move, um, then it's definitely something that you're going to want to learn. So basically, you're going to put your thumb on one of the sides and your middle finger and your ring finger on the other side and your pinky and your index finger just like this on reverse sides it's really this easy now once you have this position you're going to um, release some tension right here and just let this pack drop down into your palm the bottom half it's really really easy you're just you, you have your thumb and you're gr grasping it and then you're going to kind of lift up your thumb like this, and it just like kind of releases the pack down here. Now once that's done, you have your index finger kind of holding it. What you're going to do is you're going to move your index finger and slide the pack of cards up this pack. All right. Now this pinky right here is here to keep it so it doesn't like fly diagonally. The pinky is just there um, to keep it in line. So. You've done that, now you're going to slide it. Now this is a lot of times the most difficult part for people, specifically if you're using a full deck of cards, because I know since I had small hands when I first learned this that it was hardest, this part, because um, usually the cards would like, they'd pop up like this and a bunch of them would slide off and whatever. So you may want to do practice that part of the move with half a pack of cards, because and then gradually move up because it's really important that you get this down. So you've got that done. Oopsies. You want to really actually drop about half the pack, if not more. So now you have this kind of triangular um, form. And you have your pinky like this. And uh, don't mind me, I just dropped some cards. Um, and now all it's really simple. You're just going to extend your, um, your ring finger and your middle finger. So it kind of stretches out, and then you're just sliding the rest on. Now, I'm going to go and um, show you this one more time. Explain it thoroughly one more time. So, basically, you you do one cut. I mean, one little drop or whatever. You slide the pack up. And then this is the part where your middle finger, I mean, your index finger really comes in. It kind of rests on the back of your index finger. And while that's happening, you're sliding that deck on. Now you want to watch the index finger in this move. Really. It's really the biggest part of the whole move is the, your middle finger is kind of like letting it go down and then your middle finger, I mean not your middle finger, I'm sorry, your index finger is kind of like going like this. So once you have your index finger all figured out and you've practiced that move, you should get it done well. And um, it, it does require practice, I promise you that. Um, once, you, if you want to watch your, the index finger again, because I was saying middle finger, I meant to say index finger, um, you should, because it's really important that you watch this finger, because it's really the base or root or whatever of the move, and it, it the move, it couldn't be done without it, so, um, you really want to practice that, and gradually you can move up, you can start with half a pack of cards, which I, it's harder in my opinion, but, um, People who have smaller hands are going to have some struggle with this move simply because of um, this part right here. When you're sliding this the pack up, 
a lot of times the cards will stop start popping up like that because you don't have enough room in your hands. So you have to really learn how to stretch out your hands. So if you have large hands, this move will be fairly simple for you. If you have smaller hands, hopefully you can find out a way that you can do this move relaxing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't really done a tutorial in a while, so it's kind of nice to show you guys something. And I haven't used this pack of playing cards for a while, probably since my third or fourth video. Um, and um, I really hope that you practice this, because practice makes perfect. And um, if you really get it down, I want you guys to um, show me your moves and post a video of it, and you can comment down below if you um, performed it. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video of and this tutorial. Um, it was kind of... I haven't done this for a while, so um, I hope you enjoyed recommend anything you want me to do down below um i got some videos lined up for you guys and that's about it see you guys next time